Okay, guys, we're here at um, Jenny's gym. And actually, yeah, come over here because um, the light is really bad. Maybe go right there. We know we don't put up the windows. Perfect. Um, because when I was working, um, yeah, it's just a little bright. But we're, I'm just doing the, perfect. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Make it darker because it's just a glare. Sorry, guys. So we came over here really quick because what was, what, what was the deal with, we noticed my traps and then I was saying that I'm really trying to work my shoulders hard. And you said, just go ahead and tell what you were telling me. Um, basically, well, I'm determined today, well, I trained uh, back with Kelly and she wasn't using her back properly. She um, didn't use full range of motion coming all the way back. She was pulling a lot with her arms. So she didn't come all the way back and contract her shoulder blades back together. Um, and I noticed when she was training a lot, that she was just using a lot of her traps. So uh, I determined that it was probably, it's real likely that she wasn't training her shoulders real properly as well. Um, she was probably engaging her traps too much. Yeah. So uh, I said, okay, let's go back to the gym and we'll, we'll just, you know, go over a couple, a handful of exercises. It's because it's relatively normal for uh, women that want to build up their mm -hmm. shoulders to uh, train real, real heavy to try to do so, but because they're, if their traps, you know, are developed at all, it's it's just likely that, you know, that's what you're pulling with. Yeah. So a lot of times you just have to lower the weight. I Which mean, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah. Well, Kelly said, oh yeah, well I'm doing lateral races with 20 pounds. Well, that's a lot. Yeah. So given that, you know, I just wanted to show her some proper form on how to do a lateral raise. Okay. So I think you'd said that you were doing a leaning lateral yeah. raise. Something along this lines. Yeah. Right? Which is you, here. a good move, right? But too, I was move. too heavy. But yeah, this is a 10 pound weight, and I would think probably for you it would be great. Okay. Because you can isolate your medial delt, which is yeah. the delt right out through here, um, versus using a bunch of the track. Well, and so, yeah, I was doing this kind of move, guys, with um, like 20s. Yeah. So I bet you I was Maybe. using more trap. Absolutely. And if you, I'm going to do a couple more. I'm just going to, so you can see working right here. Yep. I'm acting like I'm the expert. <laughs> and you're yep. using 10s? Yep. I mean, and this is as much as I would use. Really? Yep. And I can see. Perfect. And then what were you talking about? Like if you did standing straight uh -huh. laterals, same uh, thing? Like well, I was I going to- make sure, a lot of times I see people that they do it with a bent elbow here. Yeah. And that puts a lot of emphasis on your front delt. Okay. And you want to keep your arms as straight as you can. And just a lateral raise right here. Okay. Straight out to the side. You also don't want to go any further than shoulder level. Because okay. Because anything above shoulder level, above this plane here, yeah. is going to be engaging your traps. Okay. So stop right here all the way down. Got and it. Again, I wouldn't use certainly no more than 15 pounds. I think for those, if I'm doing, is there a, would you recommend going one arm at a time versus two or just always doing? Because some people will no, say you just. Certainly can. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you're saying not heavier than 10? What would you say, 10? No. I would say for this, I wouldn't do any more than 15. Okay. But you just have to pay, close, yeah. you know, uh, just a lot of attention to, am I engaging my tracks? Yeah. Because they're already developed on you, yeah. so they're going to want to work. It's funny because now that I'm looking at you, right. I can see how much more yeah. mine are, and I didn't yeah. want that, you know? Right. And well, when I saw you train back today, I saw that you wanted to pull up yeah. because your traps are stronger. Because huh. you haven't been using you know, your, yeah. your lower lats as much, and we did that bent over row, you wanted to pull it up here because you wanted to pull the traps. Yeah. So, as opposed to down here so that you use your lower lat. You're awesome. That's the tip of the day. Um, now, I think there's not much trap if I'm doing like forward raises nope. Uh, nope. or but overhead if press. You go, if you come above shoulder level, yeah. then it would be. Okay. You would engage here. What about? So stop here. Um, shoulder press is, is fine. You should. Okay. I mean, it's developing, so it's going to want to do some work. Yeah. The key is to just try not to, you know, yeah. just be cognizant of it. Well, yeah, so this is as, as much as, um, hold on. Like, there's no way. As much as I was, hold on. Oh, good. I'm just like so. <laughs> um, as much as, what was the, when she was showing me at the gym, this is really dark lighting on me. When she was showing me at the gym how my form on back was, this is bad. How my form on back. There, it's better. Hey, check us out. When she was showing me at the gym today, how my form on back was um, 
just just with a few tweaks, I was moving it from working my you know upper body to working where traps. I, yeah. You were able to actually engage the muscles in your back. Okay. So okay. that was that was just largely by um, using proper form. So like you said, it's just a couple of minor tweaks, yeah. which were Big basically difference. making sure when you're training back that you drive your chest forward and round your shoulder blades back together. Um, just kind of imagine trying to pinch something in the center of your back. And I was totally pulling the wrong way. And then when she told me what to focus on and I changed, huge, huge, huge difference. So you'll see more videos from this one coming up yep. with more tips for clueless people like me. Yes. And uh, we're going to cut in about 30 seconds. This is what you do when you don't.